Hi, it's TK with the Weekly Words of Encouragement. If you haven't already, check out the video introducing our new series on the parables of Jesus. The intro video gives some great background and insight on what parables are and why Jesus taught using parables. We will start our parable series with the parable of the farmer scattering seed, also called the parable of the sower. We're starting with this parable because Jesus actually tells his disciples what the parable means. And having this explanation directly from Jesus will help us as we consider other parables. The parable of the farmer scattering seed involves three main characters, seed, farmer, and soil. The farmer scatters seed in his field and the seed falls on various types of soil. Now, in our contemporary society, we may not understand why the farmer scattered the seed in such a random way, but remember, they didn't have our modern farm equipment. Farmers had to scatter seed by hand throughout a field in hopes at least some of the seed would fall on good soil and produce the desired crops. Now, in the parable, as the farmer scattered seed, the seed fell on four types of soil. One, a footpath with no soil, so the birds ate the seeds. Two, shallow soil with rock underneath, so the seeds sprouted quickly, but soon wilted under the hot sun. Three, thorny soil that resulted in thorns growing along with the crops and choking out the plants. And four, fertile soil that produced the desired outcome of 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as had been planted. For many of the parables he told, Jesus would stop here after expressing something along the lines of, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. This admonition makes sense if we remember that Jesus knew not everyone would understand the parables as we discussed in the intro video. But for this particular parable, Jesus explained its meaning. Jesus first identifies each character. The seed is God's word, and the farmer plants the seed by taking God's word to others who are the various types of soil. Then, Jesus explained what happened to the seed in each type of soil. The footpath with no soil represents those who don't understand after hearing the message of the kingdom of God. So the devil comes and snatches it away from them preventing them from believing. The shallow soil with rock underneath represents those who hear the message of the kingdom of God and immediately receive it with joy and believe for a while, but without deep roots. They don't last. They fall away due to problems and persecution for believing God's word. The thorny soil represents those who hear God's word, but the message is quickly crowded out by the worries of life, the lure of wealth, and the pleasures of life. So no fruit is produced. The fertile soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word, cling to it, and produce a harvest beyond what was planted. Whew. This parable is so deep. And I thank God for Jesus' clear explanation. As farmers, we share God's word with others, but we may not know what type of soil we're planting in. Regardless, we keep on planting the seed of God's word because of the harvest of saved souls for Jesus is always worth the effort. And let's remember, it's not up to us to assess the quality of the soil where we're planting God's word. As the Apostle Paul described in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 through 8, we should focus on planting by sharing the gospel, and God will handle the growing of the seed. Additionally, this parable also gives us a chance to reflect on the quality of our own soil. Does God's word grow in the fertile soil of our lives? Or is our soil shallow and rocky without deep roots? Do the cares and worries of life choke out God's word? Does the enemy snatch the word away from us because our lives are a footpath with no soil? This week, I encourage you to ask God to show you 
what type of soil you have, and then ask him what you can do to make room for his word to grow in your life. I also encourage you to ask God where you can plant the seed of his word this week. Regardless of the type of soil you may encounter, plant anyway and leave the growth up to God. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.